What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you a little how-to video. I've had a few people ask about this in my comments of how I clean my engine bays on my cars. And this Lincoln is gonna be the car that I'm gonna show you. So this is my 17, used to be 16, now 17,000 mile Lincoln Town car. You can see it's just dirty and grimy and it has just crap all over it, just from sitting around, um, you know, just all the plastics and everything are dirty. All inside here, you know, just super, super grimy, greasy. But we're gonna get this to look like this. This one I did myself, this is the 2004 town car. Let's see what we can do to work some magic. So first off, I make sure the engine is nice and cool. I haven't been driving this car. I just backed it out into the sun and I am gonna spray it down with an engine degreaser. Now this is the stuff that I use here. It's called Formula One. It's made by Transmate. It's, a, it's an engine wash. Um, this is kind of like geared towards commercial applications or commercial vendors, car washes and stuff like that. So I buy this in a five gallon, you know, in a 55 gallon. You might be able to get it in a gallon container, but even if you went to like your auto parts store, you wouldn't see stuff like this. You'd see like armor alls and, and you know, uh, more over the counter uh, retail products. But there's some good stuff there too, engine degreasers, you know, just kind of skim through. I'm sure they all do the same stuff, but because I use a quantity, I buy it in quantity. So I take my Formula One and we're gonna spray everything. I mean, just spray it in every little nook and cranny. And the reason I really like this stuff is because this stuff here is kind of almost like a gel where it you know, gets on the plastics, it gets on the hoses. And you can see that, how gross that is. Um, it gets on the plastics and the hoses, but then it kind of like, you know, runs down. It doesn't really drip off. You know, it's, it's not as liquidy as like, uh, you know, just straight water or something like that. This really kind of sticks to it. Get in all those nooks and crannies. And you can even start to see uh, it probably starting to work here. But we're gonna spray this whole thing, I mean everything. Leave nothing to spare. Even I do up in the cowl here because you can see that kind of accumulates a little bit of crap. This car sat in a garage for, well, 15 years really, 16 years. All right, she is wet. You can even do under the hood, like the hood latch. The rest of it's really not too bad. All right, now it's running and you can see the stuff is starting to break down, all the grime, it's starting to dry up a little bit. So, I am going to use my pressure washer and I am going to hose this thing down. A few things that I do be careful of, your alternator, uh, you know, any kind of computers and stuff like that, you don't want to get wet, but under here it's pretty, pretty well protected. There's no body control modules hiding up here or anything like that. So we're going to go to town with the pressure washer. Now you can even see here, see where the water is dissipated away. That's where I cleaned it. You can see all the top of the uh, reservoir 
even there on the power steering reservoir was super, super gross. Now it's real nice. Just finished pressure washing it and you can see how nice and clean the plastics are you know i made sure i got into all the nooks and crannies you know all the, the the air box and everything is nice and clean everything cleaned up very nicely so two reasons why i let it run one of the reasons is so that when you're spraying it if you get it into something that you shouldn't be getting it into you'll hear it misfire or, or bog down a little bit obviously you know you have to stay away from that um i've been doing this long enough that I'm pretty pretty well versed. I don't really have that issue at this point. Uh, second reason is to start letting the car warm up because after I wash the engine, uh, I got all the hood and everything, all the insulation wet. I'm going to close the hood down. I'm going to let that run for probably 10, 15, 20 minutes or so so that the heat from the engine dries everything. It'll, it'll dry all the puddled water. And we're going to come back to this in about 20 minutes uh, show you what it looks like clean, and then I'm going to show you how I make it shiny. You can see all the grind and stuff that's running out. This is all from washing the engine. The white, the creamy white is the cleaner, but you can see the dirt and stuff running down. And I do this before I wash the car because once I dress the engine compartment, all the overspray dressing gets on the fenders, gets on the windshield. So you want to do let this dry before you get into it. This is a perfect time where I usually start to do the wheels and tires, wheel wells, door jams, stuff like that, so that I'm killing that 20 minutes of time to let this dry. All right, so I kind of let a little bit of time pass, more like an hour of running, because I had a customer come in and a few other things come up, but now you can see how everything's nice and dry. I mean, really a night and day difference. You can see where some of the water spots. Now, if you don't plan on dressing the engine, um, I would wipe, you know, let it dry a little bit, but then wipe the plastic so you don't get these water spots and a little bit of dust from probably dripping off of that. But look how clean this came out. I mean, all the, uh, attachments and stuff like that, valve covers, everything cleaned up so, so well. Uh, look at me, even the washer bottle looks absolutely brand new. Now I'm going to use basically what I use for the tire is just tire dressing and I'm going to spray that all over the plastic. I'm not going to soak it, soak it, but, you know, definitely ap apply it liberally enough. You can see it blowing all over the place. Uh, and then I just let that sit on there. I don't wipe this off quite yet. I let it sit in there to kind of, you know, bask into the plastics and get everything all moistened and shiny. Now, one thing I will say, this is probably one of the things that mechanics hate the most, uh, probably next to a customer working on their own car and bringing it to them, but they definitely don't like this stuff. But uh, obviously for retail presentation, looks and presentation is everything. Now it's all dressed. I'm gonna close the hood down, let that sit on there. Uh, but you'll see, I mean, I got dressing all over the windshield and stuff. So now I'll go ahead and wash the rest of the car. So it's been a couple hours. I washed the outside of the car. I did the wheels and tires and all that. And now I'm coming back to the engine bay. I'm going to show you what it looks like after I let the tire dressing sit. You can see here it's just a little spotty in some spots. Uh, but overall, really great coverage. Now I'll take a rag and I'll just wipe it down and go over it and kind of get that blotchiness out of it and make it a nice 
kind of not a, like a greasy shine, but like that. Yeah, you don't have to wipe every single piece down, but just the big pieces where you can kind of see that blotchiness. And there you go. Perfectly detailed dressed engine compartment. Gonna be ready for sale. Next time you see this, she will be for sale. 16,000 miles. What do you think, Papa Bear? Like always, another nice car. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one.